Hi all, it's Jack from Preact here, and today we're going to be taking a look at marketing segments. Marketing segments are a collection of contacts that we can target with a customer journey. Marketing segments allow us to target all of our contacts, or alternatively, we can go into detail and target customers with certain demographics, firmographics, or behavioral data. So, how do we use marketing segments? Firstly, we come over to the segments entity and click new. Here we're presented with two options, dynamic segments and static segments. Dynamic segments will automatically add new contacts that meet the set criteria in the segment, unlike static segments that require you to add and remove contacts manually. For this instance, we're going to be taking a look at dynamic segments. Once we click on dynamic segments, we're brought through to the segment templates page. From here, we can select any of the pre-made Microsoft templates. Alternatively, we can create our own and add them to this list. For now, I'm going to skip this. We're now brought into the segment editor, and from here, we can start to build out our query. First of all, I'm going to give the segment a name. Next up, we're going to add a query block. Query blocks allow us to work with records inside Dynamics, such as contacts, accounts, and leads. Behavioral blocks query the interaction records stored in Marketing Insights. They're generated automatically in response to contact interactions, such as opening an email, clicking an email link, submitting a form, or registering for an event. Or alternatively, we've got segment blocks. Segment blocks allow us to add another segment into this segment. For now, let's go ahead and add a query block. You can see that the entity that's chosen is contact, and now we need to build out the query. For this, we're going to select city is London. As you can see, we can really quickly and easily build out the criteria for a segment. However, we also have the option to use natural language queries that use AI to work out what we're trying to search for. If I type in the criteria that I'm searching for here, it's going to automatically put in the criteria that we need. Once we click enter, it's going to go ahead and build our query. As you can see, it's gone away and it's now searching for all contacts where the status is active, the city is London. And it's done that all automatically. Once we've built out our query, we can come down to the bottom and click estimate size. This is going to go away and see how many contacts are going to be included in this segment. This segment's going to reach 172 people. So now we know the basics of building out a segment, Let's take a look at a segment that's been built out a little bit further. Here, we've got contacts that are active, the city is London, or they've clicked one of our email messages that we've recently sent out from our London networking event email. But it's not going to include any contacts where the account industry is set to financial. There's a few different query types that we can use here, but not, or, and also. As we scroll down, we can see we've also got the flow view that can allow us to easily visualize what's going on within the query. Once we're happy with how the query has been built out, we can click save and then go live. The segment will take a few minutes to go live, but once it has gone live, we can then go into our customer journey and add this segment if you have any questions about marketing segments and how to use them, please do not hesitate to get in touch.